Ryan, uh, the Amaralds have long maintained their innocence. Now, if these pardons are in fact approved, it would wait, wipe the slate clean after 40 years. Gerald Amaralt and his sister Cheryl Amaralt Lefebvre have long insisted they were victims of sex abuse hysteria during the 80s. Their lawyer describing their reaction when he told them the governor was nominating them for pardons. They were thrilled. It's been a long time coming. The Amaralts and their late mother Violet were convicted of sexually abusing young children at their Fells Acre daycare in Malden. Gerald served 18 years in prison. Cheryl and her mother eight years. The convictions dogged by controversy because of the tactics used in questioning the children. These very young children were questioned in suggestive and coercive methods that we now know were totally improper and which ended up implanting in them uh, false memories of events that never actually occurred. On, on the record, Governor Baker explaining his decision. The fundamental question in that case was the issue associated with the nature of the investigatory and the uh, interrogation procedures and policies and practices that were used at the time. Former Middlesex District Attorney and Attorney General Tom Riley says, while I stand behind the decisions made at the time by the prosecutors, judge and jury, I believe the governor's decision is a fitting end to a very troubled case. Meantime, Gerald Amaral must still wear an ankle bracelet and remains on the sex offender registry. This is something that they uh, still live with each and every day.